Oh, hello. You've come seeking the breathless thrill of the galactic hunt and the white-knuckle intensity of hardcore ship-on-ship -ship combat, eh? Well, you've come to the proper place, because in this tutorial, we're gonna cover the basics of dogfighting. The best place to practice basic flight combat without risking your actual ship is Arena Commander. Access Arena Commander from the Star Citizen main menu. You'll find yourself here, where you have options to rent and customize a ship, check out the leaderboards, join others in a ranked or unranked multiplayer match, invite friends into a private match, or safely practice in single player. For now, click on single player. Arena Commander has a few different game modes, but for now, we're gonna take on some pesky pirates. Click on Pirate Swarm, then click on Select slash Rent Ship. For today's lesson, we'll be using the Robert Space Industries Aurora Marquee or MR for short. This lesson will assume that you understand basic flight mechanics, and if you don't, check out the previous three tutorial videos for a rundown. Before you know it, a bunch of pirate ships will enter the arena and start giving you hell. You'll know them by their red HUD icons. Let's go over how to select a target of interest. There are three ways to accomplish this. First, you can use the R key to actively target anything near your center crosshair. You can also cycle through anyone painted as a hostile via the Y key, and you can cycle through friendly mutual targets via the U key. Actively targeting allows you the benefit of gaining a target's status as well as the use of predicted impact points, or PIPs, provided you're within weapon range. PIPs are your targeting computer's best guess as to where your projectiles will land when fired and are calculated based on the relative motion of your ship versus your targets. You have the option of using lead or lag pips, which you can change in the game's main settings menu. Lag pips tell the pilot precisely where their shots will go based on the relative motion of each ship and require the pilot to move the pip over the desired target to land successful hits. Now that we know how to target and use pips, it's time to go over some of the specifics with your weaponry. To fire your weapons, press the left mouse button. If you've been firing your weapons for a while, you might notice them suddenly stopping and a small amount of time passing before they resume firing. This is your weapons overheating. If you find your weapons are overheating often, maybe ease up on that trigger finger. You may have noticed that both guns fire simultaneously. This doesn't have to be the case, however, as different guns can have different firing groups. To change the firing group of your weapon, navigate to your weapons menu on a nearby MFD. Select the guns tab on the weapons menu and under Group, you will note that both weapons are in Group 1. Clicking on the 1 will change this to the next available weapons group. In this case, Group 2. Group 2 is bound by default to your right mouse button. Go ahead and press that right mouse button. See, you can now fire both guns independently of each other. Handy for situations where you'd want a more constant stream of projectiles. Many ships, including this Aurora MR, come with an array of missiles. To use them, simply stay on target and use the middle mouse button to acquire a lock. Once fully locked on, press and hold the middle mouse button to unleash your missiles. Of course, enemy ships sometimes have missiles too. And that's where countermeasures come in. Press V to change between them and press C to deploy them. Remember, firing off a countermeasure won't instantly fix your missile problems and some maneuvering may be required. Now practice is the only clear path to dogfighting master. So without further ado, go forth and blast some pirates out of the sky. And we'll see you in the verse pilot. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.